Hello there, my fine gardening friends. How are you? Well, I wonder if you just noticed I missed out uh, an important part of my, my greeting I usually give nowadays. Um, I didn't say, how the devil are you? Um, I had a, um, a comment from one of my viewers last night um, asking whether, whether um, how the devil are you is, um, is uh, swearing, cussing, cursing. So by their language, I uh, imagine that uh, they are from the US um, and it shows the difference in our in our in our languages you know we all speak English but um, a lot different I think back in the UK sort of how the devil are you um, isn't really a swear word or the devil what the devil isn't really a swear word anymore um, and I take it from the old Ealing comedies uh, that we used to have, the old black and white comedies with Alec Guinness and, and some uh, um, really uh, Terry Thomas and, and, and things like that. And that sort of phrase, that greeting, I, I, I quite like it, but um, I don't want to offend anyone. So, well, I don't mind offending some people, but <laughs> um, I'm asking you, the viewers, do you uh, do you think that's a, swear, um, a sort of a swear word? Do you mind me saying how the devil are you? To me, I'm I'm sort of um, that's a a, um, a happy greeting, I think. But if it's not, let me know and I'll and I'll change it. I don't mind. I'm agile. But um, moving on, join me. Um, you've joined me today on a grey, dreary, chilly day, May day here in um, still beautiful Nova Scotia I've prized myself out of the greenhouse um, out into the into the proper the wilds even though it's like I said it's not very nice but a bit cold got a few uh, layers on here but it's about time um, I need to uh, build myself my bean tunnel um, as you can see in the picture there um, normally on this sort of area on the side of my lower greenhouse here I have a uh, grow beans, runner beans, purple beans, any sorts of climbing beans really, but runner beans, scarlet runner beans are my favourite. I, I put a scaffold of uh, wood and have a, a really nice bean tunnel. Obviously it's to grow the beans up, so that's good. Lots of beans are grown up there, but the flowers are fantastic, the hummingbirds love them, um, and I love to come down in the morning, cup of tea, sit down on a log and watch the hummingbirds feeding away before I, I start work. So I thought every three years or so they run out. Run out, they sort of, you know, they rot away, whatever, the wood. Um, but I've chopped a load of new uh, branches that have grown in places I don't want. Uh, these are mostly maple, etc., And uh, that's quite hard wood. And I'm gonna put some new ones up here. So I found some sort of roughly the same size. I thought you could join me to see uh, to see what I get up to. So, like I said, I've got roughly the same size as you can see. Um, here's a nice big long one. That's going to be my my top piece. You know, I could go out and get um, bamboos, etc. But this is obviously cheap, and I think it looks quite good when it's up. The old rustic look. Um, and it's it's a sturdy piece of kit once I get it up there. Anyway, stop. I'll stop babbling and get on with the stuff. Uh, so I, I often grow. I want to find a bit. I want to start off. Often grow sweet peas up here. That's a bit high. Let's get that across. Sweet peas, etc. You know, cut flowers, all different types of things. Well, that's my cross piece. I'll put that down there. And this big hefty bit. This has got a pre-done curve in there. Might have it quite high for a change. Sometimes I end up ducking in there with all. I have tomatoes growing up there, all the different sorts of climbers. Big old tomatoes, and you end up climbing up the top there somewhere. 
All right, that's good. I think I've got the idea of uh, using branches, etc. Like I get most of my ideas off Monty on the Gardener's World. Um, always a font of great ideas and wisdom on that program. Right, okay, I'll carry on. What about this one here? I may not have enough to finish off tonight, actually. That's good. Right, let me get a few in and uh, I'll get right back to you when I'll get the cross piece and that going. Well, you can probably tell from the light that it's uh, a different time now. It's actually tomorrow tomorrow morning. It's actually the next morning. Um, I always like to come out here before breakfast, do a little bit of work. Um, I had a few issues last night. First of all, um, when I thought I was filming doing these first couple, I looked and I wasn't filming and then rain stopped play. So there we are. I've done two, put two of these together. And all I've done is I've used, where is it? This galvanized wire, just twist it around, you know, created, pulled them across, twisted it together. And uh, I've got my first one and my second one, obviously trying to keep it about the same height. So let's do another couple or the next couple, and then we can put the cross piece on then. A bit precarious up here. Oh. It's a little bit breezy this morning as well. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day though, and a beautiful weekend ahead. Right, so, I wanna get a couple of twists around the actual branches. So I'm doing this by eye, so uh, hopefully it should be all right. So just a couple of twists around. Keep it nice and tight. I sometimes use garden twine, but that'll break after a season often. So there we are, a few twists. Twist that round there, and that's about right. See, these are a bit wobbly now, but once I put the cross piece in and then some diagonals, that'll be really sturdy. They've actually lasted through um, a hurricane I've had here. So, last one. All right. It's always nice to get out at this time in the morning. Normally, really, you just got the. It's all quiet. You've got the the birds. Well, they seem to be quite quiet this morning as well. Hope they don't know something I don't. There we go, there's the cross, there's the big main frames. Let's get the cross piece in. That'll do, it's a bit higgledy-piggledy. Let's have a look. Now I'll tie those, each one of those into the cross piece and then we'll get to the diagonals. So don't go away. Right, so that's the main cross piece in. Getting sturdier, still not quite there. So I've got, I wanna put some diagonals in now. I haven't got um, long enough 
branches to do a diagonal right across so I'm going to just do two that meet in the middle and the first bit I do is I just push the first one in the corner here and I want that to go all the way across here so hopefully you can see down this far I'm just gonna at this angle now gonna tighten it in to uh, this middle one and then that should start to really make it a lot sturdier the birds have decided to start chirping up now Again, let's get this nice. Now I have to watch this locking wire. Locking wire is to call it from. I used to work in the aircraft industry. Well, I say the, when I was in the navy, I worked on helicopters, and one of the things we had to do was use this type of locking wire to um, tighten things up because of all the shaking. Let me see if I can get a bit of angle. So what I'm going to do is tighten this up by twisting it when he was a youngster you used to have to make sure as a, a trainee you have to make sure this was absolutely perfectly twisted otherwise your petty officer would come round and give you a rollicking and tell you to do it again when it had taken you about half an hour to do it in the first place so then I'm going to bend it over anyway like this and then that prevents the sticky out of horrible bits from sticking yourself when you're trying to find beans and tomatoes later on when there's lots of bushes around. So, there we go. So, already I can feel that. So on to the next bit. Right, I'm gonna do these next couple of bits here and, um, and then I'll come right back. So there we go, two cross pieces in. Now look, you can f already feel how much more sturdy this is. I've got to do the outside bits and obviously the other side, but really this is the sort of the bit that's going to keep us nice and sturdy. So, so I am going to celebrate by sowing some runner beans in here. I think I might do that later. And within literally, I don't know, six weeks, two months, this is going to be covered with runner beans and purple climbing beans and sweet peas and lots of flowers lots of tomatoes coming up here fruit um, and hummingbirds uh, coming around enjoying the flowers too so there we go nice and easy to do and uh, didn't really cost me anything either jobs definitely are good in there <laughs>